not satisfied, let us know and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com, educating investors. The following is a presentation of TFNN. Trade what you see with Larry Pesavento. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648 or internationally at 727-873-7618. Now, Larry Pesavento. Okay, looking good. Billy Ray, feeling good, Lewis. I post a cartoon from our good friend Jeff Huge of Alpha Insights, and it shows the uh, bull, uh, excuse me, the bear cutting off the limb of the lightning bolt there, the old ABCD uh, on the, uh, on the uh, bull at the top up there. Very, very funny. Whether it's true or not, I don't know. But I did want to bring to your attention one of the charts that is very important for investing. We don't talk about it very much because it's not tradable. But what it is, this is the New York Stock Exchange Index, folks. This is how they measure the values of the mutual funds that you belong to. This is, these are all the stocks of the New York Stock Exchange. And what they're doing is uh, they are looking at all kinds of the most popular stocks. I think there's 2,200 in this group right now, but you'll notice here that on last Thursday in the Fed Day, we made the exact 61% retracement from the high we made on January the 4th. That was to the exact tick. And I think it's important that we keep that in mind. Occasionally, do I look at it? Does it follow ABCDs? Of course. Now, this used to be the old knife, NYFE. If you remember, Paul Tudor Jones uh, was able to uh, make pay with that market for many, many years, and then eventually the S&P came out, and then the NASDAQ, and then, of course, the Dow Jones Industrial Average became more popular, and this fell to disrepute, except for the fact that it's used in, in for mutual funds, and that's why it's posted every day, and people still look at it. I got this chart from, uh, I believe, from Jeff Huge, and it does show that we hit the exact 61% retracement last Thursday. Now, you remember the Dow Jones went considerably higher. In fact, it, it shattered the 61% retracement. The S&P couldn't get to the 61% retracement, which was 41.65. It only got to 41.10. So those are the things that you got to realize when you're looking at these. You're looking at a market of stocks, and each one of these indices is built a little differently. The Dow Jones is based on the price of the stocks, the 30 stocks, the most high price stocks, because it's price correlated not capitalization correlated. Capitalization correlated when you take the total number of shares divided into the stock, and that gives you the capitalization. If you're just looking at the price of the stock, it could have a very small capitalization because it's high priced. It'll make the Dow Jones go crazy. Remember, the four there's four or five big stocks in the Dow that run pretty much the whole thing. I think I think there's seven altogether: uh, Health Net, the uh, health companies, uh, Caterpillar. Uh, JP Morgan. Now, JP Morgan's still in there, but look at Goldman Sachs. It's in the 400s. You know, and some of these others are really big, so you got to pay attention to that. That's why it's not important that you understand, you know, how to trade the knife, but the fact that it hit that number, which, if you believe in Fibonacci numbers, and everybody that. Ra yes, Johnny, I see your hands up and waving. We believe in Fibonacci numbers, so that's important to us. So, what we want to start doing is to start watching the price action around that time. And that's what we were doing uh, over the weekend, and that's why we came out with a video on Sunday saying this thing is ready to go down for a lot of different reasons. If you're interested, just go to the newsletter and you'll see what those differences are. But I, I think it's important that we start to look at those things because it's, uh, it's, it's very, very important. We had a couple of really important chart patterns uh, complete here a few weeks ago, and I wanted to continue on with those because they were the reason why we've been so strong. I'll get this up here first. This is the Hang Seng Index in Hong Kong. This is a daily. And as you can see here, we had the big ABCD down here. And you see that it should have gone just a little below 15,000. It did. It went 140 points below the exact low. And now you can see what happened. We had the first move up. We had a perfect 382 retracement here, which was actually the second 382. The first 382 was right here. From this low to this high was exactly 382, and now you see we're right up here, 
you know, playing with the 61% retracement. Now, this is not quite up to date because we closed at 19,600 today, up 5%. We're right near this level right here. So it's very important that we watch this. Now, I watch the Hang Seng because we have so many friends and students over in Hong Kong, and they're interested in the markets just like we are here. But they follow these numbers you know, really, really quite adequately. And I think if we did take a look at the long-term weekly here in the NASDAQ, let's let's try it again, Larry, in, in the Hang Seng, you're going to be able to see, you know, where we are here uh, coming up here. We're almost getting ready to make a 382 of the whole down move from way back in 2020. So this is going to be interesting if we can get that. And we could, given the fact that we have the ABCD here. Now, that we're having a lot of weakness here in the U.S., market and also in the German DAX today. So it's telling us that well, maybe there's going to be a, a situation where we've got a little bit, uh, little bit more to go to the downside. One of the things that I do on Sunday night is I make a video of what I think is going to happen and what to prepare for. And one of the things that I mentioned, because I said I don't know where the stocks are going to open given the fact where Hong Kong is, but I said no matter what, I said because we're looking at a potential down move, I said, watch the S&P, and I said, sell the first 382 retracement after a break. And you see, we had this huge break. We have a perfect 382 retracement, and we dropped 40 handles, and we're still dropping. We're going lower and lower as we speak. So that's telling you that that's how you set up a trade. You know, the, hopefully it's going to work. It, do all of them work? Hello, operator. That is not going to happen. In the second half of this show today, I'm going to spend time with our good friend Mark Douglas sitting here with me today. I wish he were. And we're going to go over some of the things that he taught me on how to think like this. And that's what you really want to really work on. It's not what you think. It's how you think. And that's the main thing. You can think bullish. You can think bearish. But you must learn to think how you're supposed to think. And that how is how do I get in without risking very much. That's the whole key to this trading, folks. It's not how much you make, it's how much you don't lose. And that's the real key to what we're looking at. We're going to review some of these trades, especially because we're having really big moves today. And I think it's going to be interesting to see how they end up for the rest of the week, because this is only Monday. you know. And yes, I've had several questions about the trade of the year, uh, which is coffee, and I'm going to cover coffee. When we come back from the from the break, I think I could probably do it right now because I'm not going to cover very much because it's done what we think it's going to do. You'll see here we were looking to buy it down there at the 155, which was a 61 percent retracement. And we've got a caller from Mark Brent up in California. Brent, how are you doing today, my friend? I'm doing well, Larry. How about yourself? Pretty good. And you know, the problem is, Brent, we got about 30 seconds into a break where we're going to pay a few bills. But when, if you'll stay with us, I'd, I'd certainly like to talk to you because you're right in the midst of the farming community there. And I'd like to hear, you know, what the farmers and stuff are saying because you have contact with them, don't you? Uh, I do have a good friend who owns a, a winery in, uh -huh. in Martinez. And so, yeah, not, not much beyond that, but I, yeah, well, no, I'd, I'd be happy to talk with you. Good. Well, that's one of the staples is wine. I mean, food, carbohydrate, carbohydrate, carbohydrates, it, it fats, and wine. It is for me, absolutely. <laughs> hey, we'll have Mark Brent from uh, Martinez, California, coming up at the break, folks. So we'll be right back after we pay a few bills. Currencies, commodities, and bond markets are as important as ever right now with how they're driving the volatility in equity markets across the globe, which is why it's a great time to try out Teddy Kegstat's Tiger Forex Report. Teddy Kegstat breaks down the Forex markets every Monday using his 30-plus years of experience as a trading veteran of futures, Forex, stocks, and options. Teddy releases his weekly Tiger Forex Report every Monday morning with coverage of all the major currency pairs, including the dollar index, the euro dollar, pound dollar, dollar Swiss, dollar yen as well as many more and he also has weekly coverage of the crude oil market and the 30-year t-bonds as they both influence forex markets tremendously when you sign up for the tiger forex report you also gain instant access to teddy's 60-minute webinar archive he just hosted forex strategies and fundamentals what is behind the tiger forex report for all the details and to start your 30-day tiger forex report subscription today visit the front page of tfnn.com 
TFNN, educating investors. Steve Rhodes started his trading career as a student almost 20 years ago, and the student has now become the master. Steve won the prestigious Timer of the Year Award in 2018 and barely missed that mark again in 2019, finishing at number two for the year. An amazing accomplishment. Steve Rhodes is committed to sharing his techniques and knowledge with anyone who wants to learn, and he shares his vast amount of trading knowledge every day in his Mastering Probability newsletter. Steve's award-winning newsletter, Mastering Probability, is delivered every trading day with updates throughout the afternoon. Sign up for Steve's market newsletter, Mastering Probability, and you'll receive access to seven of Steve's educational webinars absolutely free. At TFNN, all our newsletters come with a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have absolutely nothing to worry about. Visit TFNN.com and try Mastering Probability 30 days risk-free today. TFNN, education investors are you looking for a way to consistently add winning trades to your portfolio Tom O'Brien is here to help Tom O'Brien has been successfully trading markets for over 30 years a frequent contributor to TD Ameritrade Network and CNBC Tom O'Brien founded TFNN over 20 years ago to help educate investors just like you Tom's daily market newsletter market insights is published every morning when the markets open to give you the competitive informational edge you need to succeed. These newsletters are packed full of Tom's advanced technical analysis and are geared to deliver comprehensive strategies for a successful portfolio. Get Tom O'Brien's newsletter, Market Insights, today and try all of our products and newsletters 30 days risk-free with our money-back guarantee at TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors. now toll free at 1-877-927-6648 internationally at 727-873-7618 Okay, we're back, folks. We're speaking with Brent out of Martinez, California, and he'd like to talk about uh, UNG, which is, uh, I think, the ETF for natural gas. Yeah, I know you were touching on it last week, Larry, natural gas itself, the contract, but I've been following this. I'm not doing anything at this moment, and honestly, looking at it, just today in particular, um, <laughs> scary. It's breaking, <laughs> it's breaking that swing point on the daily yeah. of volume. So to me, there's more potential for a uh, Yes. You know, downside AB equals CD, and so I'm just being patient and, and waiting to see if that might happen. And it, to me, that that's more. I just you know stand on the side at this point. I think that's the thing to do. You got several things that you're setting. You know, right at the 78 percent level, really close. But the problem is, you got those two breakaway gaps to the downside, and that's being. I also po uh, posted the chart of the natural gas itself, and we had those massive, wide-ranging bars down where we shattered the. 61% retracement, and we shadowed the potential 135 pattern and left a huge gap last uh, this morning, and it c couldn't quite fill it. So this is really telling you that there's a lot of selling coming into natural gas. And then if you look at crude oil with really bullish news, which is part of the heating complex, you know, you're, it's just down $4. So this is a not a good sign for energy today, I don't think. No, it seems to me that it's not necessarily following – the seasonality that you would expect. Yes, sir. You look That's at where correct. it peaked, you know, last year and, and just, I don't know, it was more in September. And it's, you know, it does seem to put lows in more around the beginning of the year. So I, I think there's maybe that potential where it mm -hmm. could go down and continue this, you know, for the next couple of three weeks. And, and then at that point, put in a bottom. But I'm just, yeah, at this point, kind of just sitting aside and see what it does. One of the things that I remember from, you know, many years ago, I lost more money trading seasonal than I did trying to follow a moving average. So I'm a little skeptical of seasonals. But patterns, I can understand because if I'm at a certain spot and I've got two or three different numbers, I know exactly what my risk is. But here you have, you know, the only thing you have there is one little, uh, one little number there at the 78% level. Sure, it might work. But with those breakaway gaps to the downside, those are two of the danger signals when you're trading pattern recognition that you really have to worry about. So I think we'll wait a day or two. Maybe it'll turn, maybe it won't. But we want to know what our risk is, not how much money we're going to make. 
Absolutely. Yeah. Well, I appreciate your time, Larry. It's, it's, hey, it's listen, always, my friend, you. if you ever get down this way, please stop by. I'd love to say hello to you again. Absolutely. You take care, Larry. You and bet. Enjoy okay. the holidays. You too. Happy holidays to you, Brent. Okay, right. folks, moving on. Since we're talking about the energy complex, I wanted to talk about the crude oil complex here because we've had a pretty big move here uh, in crude oil today. I wanted to point it out to you in segments because this is what we were looking at last night when I was setting the uh, video, videos out because the news came in from Saudi Arabia that uh, things were looking pretty good. And I pointed out that, hey, we had a 382 retracement there on Thursday, and we have a perfect A, B, C, D forming up here at the 78% level. And so I said uh, we, had, we had several positions that were on. The problem was, you know, we were short to British pound. It was working well. We were short to euro. It was working well. We were short to silver. It was working well. We were short the S&P. It was working well. But how many positions can we put on? And so I said, you know, just be real careful. I said, you don't have to risk very much. I said, if it's there, but if it does... You know, you'll be able to see it. So all I'm going to do now, I didn't do this, and it was the, the best. Well, the silver was really good. But you'll take a look here. This is where we were this morning. You'll see we went right up to the 78% level. Now, it stayed there for an hour, folks. I mean, it was really telling you that something was really big there because you had a perfect A, B, C, D right at the 78% level. Now, folks, this is beyond the bottom of this chart now. You know, this is from this is from 82 to a little under uh, 78. That's a four thousand dollar move, with a risk of about 50 or 60 point, uh, five or six hundred dollars. So that's that's a you know home run trade. But if you've got too much stuff on, you can't do all of them. So you got to pick the ones that you want to do. Last night, you know, because gold was up there around that 1820 level, I had someone call in and say, "Gosh." You know, we're looking at a potential 61% 135 pattern in the weekly silver contract. And so I was looking at that. This was early in the evening on Sunday when I was doing the first video. And you'll notice right there, there it was. There was your 61% retracement. You can see the downtrend line of the 135 pattern. Those of you that would like to understand why this pattern works is measure between high one and high two and high two and high three. And you'll see they're within exactly two weeks of each other. So you've got several things going for you. You've got a 61% retracement of this move, which also happens to be 50% of that move. Now that leads me to the second question. A gentleman from who listens to us up in Lance Orlando, up in uh, Portland, Oregon, Lance says, you know, why do you look at things so differently than, than the people at Elliott Wave. Well, the people at Elliott Wave are concerned with this move right here. They're looking at the numbers one, two, three, four, five, whatever it happens to be, but they're not going backward to see how it fits in with the rest of the pattern. And all these patterns fit together. This is a valid one, three, five pattern, folks. When you've got lower tops, either high or low, you've got a chance for a really good trade. So that's a weekly chart. So the only thing we did next was to go down to the daily chart. And when you put the daily chart up to it, you're going to see that you're going to see something that is really quite amazing. Because here's where we've been over the last several months in silver. And, we, and we've been able to take advantage of some of these trades, not all of them, but some of them. But you'll notice here at the very back, look, you have a big ABCD pattern right here. You see that little red box? That means it's a 1.618. We did that trade that had a little over six grand in it in a very short time. Look at this one right here. There's your 1.618 of this whole move down. There it is right there. Exactly at 2369, uh, I believe, was the exact number. And the, the number was 2363 was the, was the trade uh, area at the 1.618. And we've dropped, we have dropped more than a dollar uh, an ounce now in silver coming off of that. Here you're risking about 10 cents to make six grand. I mean, that, that's a big move, folks. This was similar to the one we had right here. This was a 382, if you remember, on the whole move. Look at the 382 right here that led to this. So what we're watching now is we're seeing a market that's coming down. It's getting to the 382. In fact, we're already there. We've gone a little bit below it, but we made it in one day. When you make a 382 in one day, that's suspect. So you've got to be really, really careful on how to do some of these things. I hope going through these trades and how they work, helps because you know I don't count one two three fours and fives I look at ABCD that's the that's the thing that Mandel brought brought to us HM uh, Gartley brought to us and it's simple and I like to keep it simple I have a hard time 
when you start looking at these little tiny one, two, three, four, fives and things like that. Yeah, they might be tradable, but not for my book. I've got to have something that is real simple, and simple to me is – a, B equals C, D. Yes, Johnny, I see that you're raising your hand and give me a thumbs up. I appreciate that. But I'm trying to reach these folks here, especially Lance Orlando up in Portland, Oregon, because he really wants me to get involved with Elliott Wave. And Lance, my friend, I have done that, been there, don't want to do it again. And that's all I can tell you. Don't need it, don't want it. And uh, that's all I can do. I know it works for some people. And I've been around the guys that most famous for us, Gilmore and uh, the guy from England, and also, uh, gosh, what's his name? I can't even remember. Some, Bob Miner is another one, and there's three or four others that are very famous for it. But mine's really simple, folks. That's it. Hey, we're going to take a break. 877-927-6648. If you want to take advantage of this sector, now is the time to subscribe to my Gold Report. The Gold Report is a comprehensive look at the metal sector as well as the markets that move gold, which is the currency and bond markets. New subscribers get a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have nothing to lose. Every Monday morning, I publish the Gold Report with coverage of gold, silver, bonds, the XAU, HUI, GDX, as well as more than 30 different mining equities. To see for yourself the types of profitable trades that are recommended within the Gold Report, sign up now by visiting TFNN.com. Don't miss out on the next great gold trade. Sign up today. TFNN is excited about our new software charting program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts. In collaboration with Tom O'Brien and using his best-selling book, The Art of Timing the Trade, Your Ultimate Trading Mastery System, David White has programmed an outstanding piece of software that will complement any trader's methodology. Using this first-of-its-kind program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts allows you to scan thousands of stocks for Fibonacci formation setups, including Gartley's, ABC's, Butterflies, and much more. The Art of Timing the Trade Charts is designed to help you when scouring the markets for stocks just beginning to form the trading patterns that many investors spend days, weeks, or even months searching to find. And right now, we're offering licenses available at only $79 a month. We are so confident that you're going to love this new charted software that will even give you a 30-day unconditional money-back guarantee. Don't miss out on this incredible new piece of software. Get your copy of The Art of Timing the Trade Charts today by visiting TFNN.com. Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern. For free, each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Okay, folks, I posted the chart of the British pound on a weekly basis, and it's showing the AB equals CD pattern. You can see quite clearly there at 124. Now, this has gone from 130 to 124. In the last six weeks, remember we got to 103, and it appears, wow, this thing looks like it's going to go down to 85. Well, maybe it will, maybe it won't. But I wanted to walk through this because this is another part of why I want to try to explain to Lance, you know, what I'm looking at when I'm watching for a trade. I see this beautiful ABCD. This is a classic pattern right out of page 222 in Gartley's book. And that is the Gartley 222 pattern. We have an ABCD pattern in a long ranging trend to the downside. You're making a counter trend run. This is a weekly chart. It could be a five minute, 
could be a daily, four hour, doesn't make any difference on the time frame. But that is a perfect A, B, C, D. Count the weeks up, count the numbers. It measures to 124. That was a sell. It's dropped two and a half handles, so it's down $1,500 in a matter of a few hours, which certainly makes your first profit objective. But what we want to do now, and this is where I differ from some of these folks uh, with the, you know, the look at Elliott Wave. And all I'm going to do now is show you the daily chart, and I want you to see. Now, this is a daily, so, you know, it's got a lot of stuff going in here. But you'll notice that we have a beautiful three drive to a top pattern, and there's your 50% retracement. Please take your chart off pause. I don't know if I have that on pause. Let's just uh, change the window again and get it up here. Sorry, Al, if I messed up here. Now, well, there we go. There's your three drive to a top pattern, and that's equal to where we were on the weekly. We expected to go a little bit higher Sunday night which we did by about 80 pips, and then from then we've really started down to the downside. Now, I also put, you know, the ABCD pattern in here, and you see we went considerably above it because we went to this level, and then we came down again. So all I'm doing now is I'm, I'm, me I'm meshing the daily chart with the weekly chart that tells me I have a lot of things happening up in this area right here. Now, why is this very important to us? Well, you have to stop and think where we could be in this in the longer time frame. So let's just move one handle away from that. And now what we're going to do is we're going to go to the monthly. Please tell me I've got that doggone thing, and I, I'm sure I do. And here it comes. This is what's interesting, folks, because this could be a major play here. And this is a monthly chart. And we've had this monthly chart here for a long time. We've been bearish since there, you see. Look, you've got the big ABCD down here at 86. You've got the smaller ABCD down here at 85. So that's what our that's what our goal is. And where are we right now? That spot right there is 382 of that number right there. So your risk is so doggone. It's paused again. What did I do wrong? Let me try it again. I'm sorry, Al. I uh, technically challenged, as most of you know. <laughs> Okay, I hope this works. So now you can see it. There's the 382 that we just looked at on the daily and the weekly. This is the monthly, and it still says we're heading down to this level right here, which was be, is going to be below 90. And those of you who probably weren't around in 1985 in February when they had the uh, Plaza Accord at the Ho Plaza Hotel in London, uh, in the, <laughs> Central Park at the Plaza Hotel, uh, at, the, at, the, at, the, at the entrances to Central Park, one of the most beautiful hotels. Well, I don't know if it still is, but it was the go-to place back in the 80s. And uh, that's what we were looking at here is the fact that uh, the, 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 the Plaza Accord had all the G20 people. This is before they called them G20. They just called them by their names, Japan, Australia, whatever. They didn't give the G name until later when the whoever named it i don't know but anyway we were trading at 85 and from 85 you you can see we went all the way up here to you know substantially higher up around two bucks so anyway that's what we're watching here and that's why it could be a major move now will it be i don't know but the fact that it's done what it's supposed to do so far today it's what's important from my per perspective to see if it's going to do that. We will know in a few days because if it falls really rapidly, then you know exactly uh, where you're going. Now, I want to spend just a moment about this thing called the trade of the year. And I, I know I have too many questions answered. And this is why I didn't bring it up year after year. But let me bring it up here to show you what I'm talking about. And I hope that the chart comes in perfectly this time. And you'll be able to see it. This is the weekly chart of coffee. And we were saying it's completed the 61% retracement there at 155, 156. The low was 154. We've rallied all the way up to 172. We backed off 10 cents a pound since then. And what I'm going to do now is to switch over to the daily chart just to see what our risk control is going to be because you want to be able to see that also. So this is going to show you the huge down move we've had in coffee in the last, uh, what, uh, past year? Look at this, in the year and a half, look at this. And you know what's so nice about this, folks? All the way down, Starbucks was dropping the prices of coffee. Wasn't that nice of them? I think they had three price increases along this ro road here, folks. And, of course, they said it was the price of underlying supply and also labor. Well, labor maybe, but not underlying supply. Now, you'll notice that we did make 
a beautiful A, B, C, D here, and we backed off. Now, if this is the trade of the year and you did it for that and you've made some money on that first A, B, C, D, you do not want to let this thing get to – just get to your break-even point because if it does – Get out of that dodge. You're in a free trade. It may work. This may hold, and it may go up a lot. That we don't know. And I'm going to be covering that in the second part of this uh, thing today here. But that's the main thing. You've got to figure out what your risk is going to be after that. It was a beautiful ABCD there. I mean, it was just as perfect as possible at 172. That's a 17 cent move in copper, folks. That's five grand. You know, that'll bar that'll buy you about 20 percent of an old used car, for heaven's sakes. Anyway, that's what we're paying attention here today, and hopefully you'll have any questions. You'll bring them in to 877-927-6648, and we'll try to answer them for you uh, if we can, of course. Now, I wanted to spend just a moment here, uh, and I will cover this when we get back from the break that we're going to have here shortly, but we had the, one of the functions of trading pattern recognitions is to look at the different underlying instruments and what we were watching here to try to get a short sale off in the British pound and in the euros to see if there was an ABCD and there's the dollar index and as you can see this ABCD measures right to where we hit on Friday so that means that the dollar index could not be very weak coming in here on Sunday because that would mean the euro and the pound would be really strong and that's it well it was slightly weak but not very much it couldn't take out the low by more than a tick and then it turned and that's what made it work. So there was a small ABCD there in the dollar index that gave us some indication that, yeah, maybe that pound uh, pattern was perfect and maybe the euro pattern was perfect. Did we know for sure? Nope. And will we ever know for sure? Nope. Does that make any difference? Nope. So thank you very much. We'll move on and see what happens the next time we get a nice pattern like this. And remember that we don't know what's going to happen next. And that's the main thing. In the words of Mark Douglas, who would be sitting here with me today, what he would be saying is, when you really believe that trading is simply a probability game, concepts like right or wrong, win or lose, have no meaning and no significance in your trading life. And once you figure that out, it's game on, baby. So we're going to take a break here, pay a few bills for TFNN, and then we'll be right back to talk a little bit more about the psychology of trading because that's where the game is played, folks, between that nine-inch cycle between your left ear and the right ear. Well, so we'll be right back after we pay a few bills here with our friends at TFNN. And today's Tiger Day, folks. You get Tiger dollars, big discounts. If you like TFNN, you're giving discounts away, folks. You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the opening call newsletter at TFNN.com. The opening call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know, and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com, educating investors. The technology around us is changing every day. With so much happening, it can seem impossible to keep up with all the information. David White's investment newsletter, The Technology Insider, is designed to give you all the information you need to understand the technology that shapes today's markets and tomorrow's future. David White has made his living staying on the cutting edge of technology. His weekly newsletter will give you specific recommendations for value tech stocks, as well as entry prices, target prices, and stops to set for each trade. Dave delivers his weekly newsletters every Friday with updates throughout the week. 
You can get the Technology Insider at TFNN.com for only $37.50. Sign up for David's newsletter, The Technology Insider, and get an inside look at everything the technology sector has to offer. Try it risk-free today with our 30-day money-back guarantee. TFNN, educating investors. Biotech is booming, but for how long? Whether you think the biotech bull has room to run or has run its course, trade LABU or LABD. Direction's daily S&P Biotech three times bull and bear ETFs. Visit directioninvestments.com slash biotech today. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact direction shares at 866-476-7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors, such as traders and active investors. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. This program is brought to you by Vista Gold, traded on the NYSE American and TSX under the symbol VGZ. Okay, folks, I, I have a story to tell you because when I do these patterns, you know, uh, sometimes they work, sometimes they don't. But in 2002, John Hill and I were at the um, Marriott Marquis there in Times Square in for the money show. And we were doing two hours of live trading and we started out very poorly. We were first 20 or 30 minutes. We had two trades that were didn't work very well. Then we had a couple that didn't work and then we had one that did. And John said, you know, we're probably going to be going to... Uh, uh, Kaplan's for breakfast pretty early and I said yeah probably but what happened was people went out into the show uh, there and they started saying hey these two guys are losing their butt and they're supposed to be professionals so they came in and as the trading wins would have it we started making some money but the problem was we had 250 people in there which was 50 more than was allowed and the fire marshal was there and I was up for my half hour segment and there was a gentleman in the middle of the room that was just absolutely obnoxious. He was really a heckler and he was just saying, oh, this one's going to lose. Oh, you don't know what you're doing at all. And finally, you know, I, I pretty much had it with him and I said to him, I said, I'll make you a deal. And he said, what's that? I said, I'll give you my watch if you'll shut up for the next 45 minutes. And he said, OK. So I took a they ran my watch back to him and he did he did shut up for 45 minutes but the problem was he disappeared at the end of the uh, at the end of the thing I never saw him again but what happened was he gave the watch to the guy next to him to give it back to me but nothing is worse when you're trying to give a lecture and you really believe in what you're talking about and someone just keeps interrupting you no matter what you do you know it's really tough and so that's something that you have to deal with sometimes when you're talking i spoke with tom hugard about that yesterday and he says it happens more and more to him these days because he's a little he's substantially more popular uh and more well known than i am but uh, he said, yes, he said, it does happen to him. And he said, I he said I wouldn't be so brave as to what you did. He said, but I do try to handle them because I'm good at what I do. And he said, I think, you know, people should uh, listen to what I have to say. And he's absolutely right. And his book that he wrote, uh, The Best Loser Wins, is just absolutely terrific about the uh, things that you have to learn to do when you're trading. Now, let's talk about this next six minutes about the most important thing. And remember last Thursday or Friday, I talked about the mental part of this game and working with uh, Tom, with the Mark Douglas. And the, the main thing that you have to do to be successful, you have to have a foundation of absolute trust in what you do is going to work. Is it going to work all the time? Heck no. Not important. The second thing is you have to des you have to de evolve some skills on how to identify these problems. Does that happen overnight? No, that happens after you've looked at thousands and thousands of them and see them repeating over and over again and to find a four, five, six, seven, or eight that you really like to see. I like Gartley's butterflies, one, three, fives. You know, those are the you know the ABCDs. I mean, that that's what it is. When I see those, I know I'm in the ballpark. 
Am I going to hit a home run? Am I going to hit a single? Don't know. Am I going to strike out? Absolutely, I'm going to strike out. Does it make any difference? No, because I'm going to get right back into Botter's box and try it again. But you've got to be able to follow those steps to have that foundation of complete trust. And I, I have that. Do I have it every day? Of course not. Do I have it most of the days? Of course. That's why when I put out a video, I try to put the implications of what I'm looking at in that video because I can't give you what's going to happen in the next 35 minutes in the video with any de degree of uh, accuracy, but I can give you approximation what I think is going to happen. Now, today, they happen to be all perfect. Does that happen all the time? Of course not, but it happens sometime, and that's the whole reason behind doing this. You know, the market is an unlimited opportunity. You can do anything it wants at any time, and it usually does, so you've got to be prepared for that. The preparation that you have is to cover your backside. Where are you going to be wrong? Because the Fed could come in here. We, Hey, we saw this, what, on the uh, t three days ago on Thursday when the Fed came out, and the S&P rallied 160 points. Hello, operator. I didn't get any of that. I don't like to be around when the Fed's there because I'm tempted to trade, and that gets me in trouble. So I just wait till the Fed's done talking. Well, while he was talking, it ran 160 points without me. Came right off of 786. A lot of people saw it. Some people bought. Some people didn't. But that's not important. The important thing is you got to believe in what you're seeing, and it's not going to work every day. If you think it's going to work every day, you know, get, go get a job at Disneyland or someplace. Get get close to Mickey Mouse. Maybe Mickey and Minnie can give you some better information. But it's not going to work every day. If you can be right three days a week, you know, you're fine. Look at Jeff Hughes, folks. He's one of the best guys in the business, and he's only right 30% of the time, and he's beaten the S&P consistently. Shane Smolian, who's you know, even – he's actually a little bit better than, than Jeff, I understand. He hits better than 50 percent of his trades. So that's what you shoot for. It's 50, 60 percent, but your wins are going to be two or three times what your losses are. And you try to stay away from those really massive big losses because those are the ones that hurt. They, they get you into trouble, and that's, that's where you get into real problems, you know, that main things. But go to what uh, Amos Haas said. Remember the little plaque I told you that he had on his desk? It had three things on it. It says, is it a valid signal? And it says, how much do I have to risk? Number two was, how much do I have to risk to see if I'm going to be right? And number three was, if that amount is equal to what I can risk, you must do the trade because you don't know whether it's going to work or not. And you know what else, boys and girls? This is a key. Come in. Come in real close. Nobody else does either. Nobody knows what's going to happen next. Not even God. And she quits trading on Monday, Tuesdays, and Wednesdays. She only trades Thursdays and Fridays. So remember that every time you put a trade on, you don't know what's going to happen next. And you don't need to know in order what's going to happen next. It's not important because these patterns are probabilities. And probability means sometimes it happens, sometimes it doesn't. Does Can it lose six, seven times in a row? Of course. It can lose 10, 12 times in a row. And it can win 10, 15, 20 times in a row too. It's all probabilities. So once you believe and have the foundation of trust in that, then you're going to be able to have a pretty good idea that this is a good place to make a couple of bucks and you can uh, put your nickel or dime or whatever you want to put on it and you'll be just fine because you don't know which ones are going to work, but nobody else does either. But if you've got those little patterns that you're looking at, you know you know the ones that I like. That I like. Uh, you know that those work more times than they fail, and uh, you've got to be watching for those times that it fails because it's not how much money you make. It's how much money you don't lose. lose. That's the real key to what we're looking at. Now, tomorrow – we are definitely going to have Mr. Norm Winsky of Astro Trends out of uh, Naples, Florida, will be our guest. Always has some great stuff, and uh, he'll have some good stuff. And then on Wednesday, we're going to have Jeff Huge. On f Thursday, we're going to have Tim Bost. And again, hopefully with a little luck, we'll have Peter Lighties as our guest uh, on Friday. We have Remember, this is December, folks. It gets a little thin out there now, so be really careful because these markets have a tendency to reverse in a minute. And uh, make sure you have your stops in and follow, you know, what you're risking because uh, this is the weakest. Well, let's put it this way. To, to me, it's the most illiquid part of the month because people start Christmas time already. And, of course, we have Hanukkah coming up here. I think it's uh, – when is Hanukkah coming up here pretty soon here? Uh, oh, I can show my new calendar. It's in December here pretty quickly. I think it's next week as Hanukkah starts. And so that'll be uh, at, at Drexel. Um, we didn't work much in the, the month of December because we had already made the money we were supposed to make. That was time to give to the poor. 
And boy, we did. We did a lot of that, which was good to do. Hey, let's take a break. 877-927-6648. Billy Ray Valentine, Capricorn. If you're looking for potential trading setups in the stock market, then Rocket Equities and Options Report is a newsletter you should try. Tommy O'Brien delivers options and equity trades when the markets present them using a combination of fundamentals and technicals. Sign up for Rocket Equities and Options Report today with a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. For all the details and to start your subscription today, visit the front page of TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors. You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the opening call newsletter at TFNN.com. The opening call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know, and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com, educating investors. Everything in the universe is governed by the Fibonacci sequence. This mathematical principle is responsible for everything from the most aesthetically pleasing artwork to patterns in the stock market. To stay on top of stock patterns you can take advantage of, sign up for the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter at TFNN.com. When you subscribe, you'll get a weekly report from veteran day trader Larry Pesavento on stocks you need to pay attention to. And you can trust Larry's analysis. After all, he's got 45 years experience as a day trader. Larry will also provide daily charts, videos, and data on the key markets that he's tracking. Expect notifications from Larry on market movement you need to act on at any time. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. Subscribe to the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter today. TFNN.com. Educating investors. TFNN has launched the Tiger's Den, hosted at Discord. TFNN has been educating traders for more than 20 years with live programming hosted by a variety of professional traders during market hours. The Tiger's Den, available to all tigers and tigresses for just $1 for the year. There's no catch or added costs when you join our community of traders. Sign up today and become a part of this educational community of traders. Just visit the front page of TFNN.com. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com and hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com and hit Watch Tiger TV. Okay, folks, I'm back. I wanted to mention to you that uh, during the month of December, the TFNN, they offer Tiger dollars. In other words, you can buy discounted dollars that you can buy things to, to attend the trading sessions that we have, newsletters and things like that. So there are big discounts on the dollars, help support TFNN. And believe me, it's an expensive business to keep going because of all the electronic stuff that's necessary. But um, just uh, remember, this is, this is the time, if you want discounts on your dollars, this is the time to do it. Now, the chart that I posted last year today is that New York Stock Exchange Index chart showing you the 61% retracement that was hit on Fed Day. Now, if we get above that, folks, we could easily, I mean easily, make new highs in this market. That's how important this day is. Now, we're down quite a bit. We're down 100 handles uh, so far uh, in just a couple of days here. So that tells us, yeah, that is a high of some magnitude. But uh, if we do get above that, it's extremely, extremely bullish. Another market that I haven't covered that I will cover tomorrow 
will be the treasury notes and treasury bonds because they too have reached a level of significance where they should start down from and that's what's happening today in treasury notes and treasury bonds did not do that trade because it had already hit that point by the time I'd sent the video out so it was about five hundred dollars under it so it never got a chance the others all uh, you know hit at the right time but the treasury notes treasury bonds did not so keep those in mind for 382 retracements because these markets if you remember how weak treasury bonds were five weeks ago down there at that 117 level and then they rallied the twelve thousand dollars and everybody wants them at the bottom nobody wanted them at the top everybody wanted them so it's going to be interesting here to see how these markets unfold here as we look at this remember this is the time of the christmas spirit so try to help your neighbors the best they can live every day in an attitude of gratitude and may God bless, and I'll see you on the flip side tomorrow, folks. See you later. Bye.